Since the beginning of the pandemic, the people of the United States and around the world have been hopelessly waiting for the vaccines to roll out. For many, vaccines mean a slim chance that the world will one day return to normality. However, now that the vaccines are out, not a lot of people are sure about getting one. Many people like our president, Joe Biden, and our vice president, Kamala Harris, have already gotten the vaccine. So what was it like? Let's hear from somebody who's already gotten the vaccine and look into their experience. My name is Julie Peter, J-U-L-I-E-P-E-T-E-R, and I'm a public health nurse in Fairfax County. What was your experience like getting the vaccine? After the first dose, I had a sore arm for two days and a headache. It was no problem though. Um, four weeks later, I got my second dose of the vaccine and that night I did experience a little bit of an elevated temperature, um, body aches, chills, um, and a headache. And that lasted overnight. I felt pretty bad overnight, but the next morning um, I was feeling good again. People have a lot of questions in their minds about the vaccine. And there is not a better person to ask these questions to than a health expert working specifically with COVID. Yeah, so hi, I'm uh, Ava Jane or Dr. Jane. I'm an infectious disease doctor up here in Northern Virginia. COVID-19 has been a big part of what I've been doing for almost the past year, given it is an infectious disease and definitely been helping to manage and take care of patients for that. So how effective is the vaccine? So is it going to get rid of the situation we're in right now? Or where is it? Where does it? Where, what's the scale? So what's the scale? So that's a great question. So I'll break it down in a couple of parts. So, you know, we've been waiting for this day or this moment to come to, for a vaccine. So as you know, COVID-19 is a virus. It's not a bacterial infection. So, you know, how we treat normal infections with antibiotics, this isn't that. This is, you know, when we are coughing and sneezing these viruses. So that's why it's been a global pandemic is we don't have actual treatments that end this infection. So like a lot of the other viruses that we have, especially something like the flu, which, you know, we see every year, this is something where a, a vaccine can come into play to help build immunity to this virus that we have or this COVID-19. So how effective is a great question. So this, the vaccine data that we have has only been around for a few months, but the initial data that we have on the two vaccines that are out there, the Moderna and the Pfizer, do show that once people are immune to it, they have, it's about over 95%, 90 to 95% immunity that every individual can get up to. Mm -hmm. So when will the immunity develop after you get the vaccine? So that's another great question. Um, so what we're looking at from the data, both with the Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine, there are two dose vaccine. And what we're looking at is the 95% that they talk about in the media and the news is after you about two weeks after your second dose. So you have one dose, you wait about three to four weeks based on the vaccine that you're getting, and two weeks from that second vaccine is when that 95% immunity is supposed to be put in. Oh, okay. Got it. So, like you said, but right now, because we're still looking at so much data, it doesn't mean that once you're immune, you can go run around and have all the fun. We still need to wear our masks and still social distance to really make sure as a community, we're still doing our part in helping everyone else. So when do you think us students will be able to get the vaccine? Well, that's a really good question. So right now, the vaccines have been studied for individuals 16 and older. Um, so for younger kids, the studies are starting in a or I, my hope and the goal is that the studies are going to start coming out in the springtime. So again, you know, it's a phase by phase rollout. So once you have your doctors, your first frontline workers, first responders, elderly teachers, all of us, you know, getting vaccinated to all the individuals, then, you know, once all that data now starts coming out for like, for the kids, and hopefully if the, and or the goal is, is that the data for the kids is going to be just as strong as it has been for adults, then they'll start the same rollout program for all the kids to start getting vaccinated. This is Luke, Will, Michaela, and Valentina with The Morning Brew.